Welcome back. You may be able to tell from the audio that I figured out what was wrong with my portable camera. So we're back to using it and uh, frankly I'm a lot happier. So it is finally time. I can't put it off any longer. We have to put the bridge on. This part intimidates me like nothing else can because if this is wrong the instrument will never be in tune. It's ju that's just physics. And so the first thing I'm doing is I'm putting some painter's tape on my, my wife's beautiful picture here because I don't want to mess that up. So the tape is down and uh, the next task is to draw some lines. Now the two essential tools for this are the yardstick and the pencil. So the first thing we're going to want to do is draw a line, a straight line from the by you good grief. Draw a straight line using the neck as a guide. And so I'm just going to draw a line on the on the tape there. And then same thing on this side. So this will tell us where the bridge needs to go this way. <clears throat> now for the hard part. The, or the part that always scares me at least. <sighs> we have to measure from the nut to the twelfth fret. Now here's a question I've never heard anybody ask. Which side of the nut? The fretboard side or the headstock side? And it makes a difference because that thing's about an eighth of an inch thick. And that's going to make a quarter of an inch difference in your measurement. So, which is it? I've never seen anybody answer it. So I'm going to assume it's from the fretboard side for now. But I'm before I actually anchor this thing down, I may go look that up. All right. From the nut, from that part of the nut to the 12th fret is exactly 17 inches. So, that means my scale length is going to be 34 inches. So, I need to mark 34 inches right there. Then, I need to go over to this side and do the same thing. As you can see, I'm having much more difficulty because this yardstick is uh, rather limited. So what I can do is on this side, <clears throat> I can go to 2 inches because it's a 36 inch yardstick. 36, mi 36 minus 34 leaves 2. So there's that. We connect these two lines, these two marks. <clears throat> now, I do have one problem because the ground wire is under there and it's creating a little bulge. And in fact, I think I'm going to move it before I do this. So, I'm going to take... This is the nice thing about painter's tape. All right, we're going to move the knot over that way. But now you know what this means. I'm going to have to measure again because that, yeah, that line may be a little screwed up. So <clears throat> we will do this again. Yeah, as I suspected. Threw it a little bit off. So, okay. We have a new line there. And now I'm going to double check my scale length. For the same reason. Because I moved that tape. Alright. The mark is still there where it needs to be. And now, with the wire not getting in the way, we can... 
draw that line. That is where the saddles will go. So I'm going to want to extend that line further out to both sides so I can see how to line it up. So we'll go like this and we'll just make it all the way across like that. So now I can take the bridge and I can line the saddles up on that line. I can center it on these lines and it should be in the right place. Okay, that line is showing me where the saddles will go. As you can see, I have them, they're reasonably centered and lined up. And so with that line, that line tells me where to put them this way. And then these lines are for centering it this way. So the strings are perfectly positioned over the fretboard and the saddles are at the proper length to keep things in tune. So this is where we're going to be. Now, once again, the knot that I put in this wire is causing a bulge. So I'm going to have to go ahead and clip that wire off and prep it to go under the bridge. And I will do that off camera. By the way, this white surface here is a protective card that's in there to keep when you adjust the saddles to keep it from scratching the chrome below. Once I'm ready to put the strings on, we'll pull that out. So, for now, let's take a break and I will take care of that wire. As you can see, I took the tape off of the fretboard and uh, I'm Right now, I'm treating it with some of the uh, F1 oil. We've seen this before in, in uh, other projects that I've done. Now, this is actually the third treatment. And it says, the directions say, put it on there, let it set, and then wipe off the excess thing is, with the first two applications, there was no excess. It is drinking this stuff in like a thirsty desert. I mean, and I could see, when I took the tape off, I could see just from the color of the wood that it was dried out. But, oh man, this poor thing, as I say, this is the third treatment and we may end up going with a fourth. I finally am having a little bit of standing oil here, but um, yeah, if I leave it for a while, I have a feeling that I won't, and I'll be doing another application. So we'll let that set for a while and uh, come back and see what we have. All right, I have taken my measurements. I have my lines drawn, but right now I'm going to do something that I don't think I've actually seen done before. I have some double-sided sticky tape here, and I'm going to put it right there. So that, when I set the bridge down, it'll stay put. So let's see about that. I don't know how well my lines show up here but my lateral lines are here and here and my length line is right here this is where I'm going to want the saddles to be so we will align it both ways and then the tape should hold it in place so that I can make do the drilling so there is that side, there is that side, line it up laterally. I apologize, I need this light for just a moment, okay, even though I know it washes out the camera. So right there, the, uh, no, okay, right there. 
and the tape is not working. So, how about that? Well, I think I'll try a few more layers of it and see if that resolves this issue because I'm not convinced it's actually reaching that surface. So, be right back. All right, I added a couple more layers and it is sticking nicely. Now, I'm going to get my little ruler and I'm going to double check my measurements side to side and if necessary, we'll adjust it a little bit. But as it stands right now, that's where the bridge is going. So, I will double check those measurements and then we'll be ready to drill the holes. Pray for me. So here's the ruler I was talking about. It has inches on this side and metric on this side. And for the really tiny work like this, I like to have the metric. Now, it's a typical ruler. As you can see on this side, it's got a bunch of extra stuff after the numbers. I don't need that. I need something that I can butt right up against it and start measuring. So I snip this end off right at the uh, zero mark. So we'll measure over here and my gap here is five millimeters. So we'll measure this one over here and guess what? It is also five millimeters. So I'm centered this way. These are right, these saddles are right on that mark. So I'm centered that way. So, with uh, great fear and trembling, we're ready to drill. Crap. Did not want that to happen. Well, with that hole centered, Okay, well, that being the case, then we'll go over here next. And then we'll just go down the line here and get the rest of them. The hardest part of this with my stupid shaky hand is getting the drill bit centered in the hole. And the fact that this thing doesn't want to stay in place, that's not helping any, as I'm sure you can figure out. However, the tape is right there where my fingers are. So between the two of us, We should be able to hold it still long enough to finish this. One to go. We have five holes here. I'm not sure who decided that. Probably some engineer who's way better at math than I am. So... I will accept their plan. And there we are. Our holes are drilled and we can put the screws in and the bridge will be in place. So that's what we'll do next. So yeah my uh, drill kind of crapped out on me there so I had to charge it for a few hours but we are ready to go ahead and put the bridge on. I'm going to remove the tape because we want that wire to be able to make a good solid connection. Otherwise, we will get buzzing, and that is not a fun thing to listen to. So, there's my dog Zim. He just came in. 
He is two years old. They told us he was a lab beagle mix. And, uh, yeah, there's as much beagle in him as there is in me. He is a lab chow mix, we discovered. So, uh, yeah, when they tell you what breed your dog is, always double check. All right, let's put these screws in and get this thing set. <clears throat> now, you may notice I've still left this card in here. That's because I haven't bothered to take it out yet. All right. This is why we do pilot holes. So that is much easier to do. All right. I'll go with the other end first. And that means we are set in place. So, yeah, we'll put the other three in. And except for things like the, the knobs and, and uh, um, strap buttons, um, we will be done with the mechanical part of this. The rest will be, well, next time we'll put the pickups in. And uh, then... The only thing left to do is put strings on it and play it. I have a request for the first thing to play on it. And uh, I'm going to try to remember to honor it. This person wants 25 or 6 to 4. Chicago as you already know, is my favorite band of all time. And so, I can do that. Alright, this, there's always one. But, it's down. Now, we'll pull this out, and look what we have. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but that tape left some residue on my finish here. I'm going to have to figure out what's the best stuff to take it off with. But we'll worry about that later. Right now, that is perfectly straight. And uh, I think it's going to be good. So, that was, as I say, for me, the most intimidating part of this project. But it's finished, and I think it looks pretty darn good. So next time, we'll put the pickups in, and depending on how long that takes, we just might put strings on it. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.